If you've recently moved or edited the MySQL database information for your WordPress install, you might run into this screen, Error Establishing a Database Connection. Usually this just means that the credentials that we have in our wp-config file are not properly set. It's a pretty easy fix. All we have to do is download the wp-config file, make some changes to it, and upload it back to our WordPress directory. So the first thing that we'll do is establish an FTP connection to our WordPress install. I've already opened my FTP software and connected to my A2 hosting account. If you need help doing that, you can click the link here to learn how to establish an FTP connection. So what we're going to do is drill down to our WordPress directory. In this case, it's going to be under public HTML, and then I have my WordPress installed under the WordPress folder. So then we're going to scroll down and look for wp-config.php, and we're going to just drag that to our desktop. Once that file is downloaded, go ahead and open it with your favorite text editor. And the settings we're going to be looking at are going to be towards the top of the screen here. So if we scroll down just a little bit, we'll see our database name, our database user, and our database password. And we can see here that we have a bad password, and I also know that this username is not correct. So I'm going to change these. We're going to put in a good password here. You notice that I accidentally deleted my single quote there, so I'm going to put that back. Uh, and then this account is not correct either. So I'll enter the correct username there. Then I'll save this file. And then we just have to drag it right back up into our WordPress folder. And then when prompted, we're going to say go ahead and overwrite that file. And then if we open up our WordPress admin page and refresh, we should get our login page. And there you go, it's as easy as that. For more tutorials, visit a2hosting.com slash kb.